which means that I can use the left analog stick on the controller to select my input method. If I select gamepad, I can play with the gamepad. And if I use the A and D on the keyboard, I can select keyboard and I can play as the keyboard. So I've got two layouts in order to make this work. I've got my menu select, which is my menu layout up here on the right. And I've got my game layout, which is the area of the layout where I want my player to move around. This is all you need to get it set up. I've got two event sheets. Now, really, really important, you need to make sure that your game event sheet is linked to your game events and your menu event sheet is linked to your link to your menu events otherwise things can get a little messy so on the game events I've got a global variable which is basically just a boolean which will tell me whether or not the gamepad is selected I've also got a group which contains my keyboard controls now I've kept it very simple for the tutorial I've just got a D and space which will move the character and jump the character and then in my gamepad controls I've just got if the analog left analog stick is less than minus four or greater than minus four, we move left and right. And then if we push the A button on the gamepad, we jump. So exactly the same controls in the gamepad and they are separated by putting them into their own groups. Now, if we go back to the menu layouts, we've got one group that's select input. This looks a little bit more complicated, but it's not that complicated at all. If we just close these down, let's take it a little bit at a time. If the gamepad left analog stick is not equal to zero, so basically means if it's moving in any direction at all, I'm gonna trigger once and I'm gonna toggle the gamepad selected Boolean, which we put on the game events. It doesn't matter that we put it on the game events event sheet because the global booleans are available throughout the game uh, anywhere on any layout. So we've said if the left analog stick isn't moving then we're going to toggle that boolean. Now that's going to take care of the gamepad controls. I've also put the same exact statement for if we push A and if we push D we're just going to toggle that boolean. So any input to the left right on the keyboard if you choose A and D to move and any input at all on the left analog stick we're just going to toggle that boolean. Now, if the gamepad selected boolean is true, then we need to make sure we've got a visual indication on the screen as to what might happen. So let's go back to the menu layout. I've got a couple of sprites here and these sprites have two animations. I've got one that says keyboard and that's a two frame animation, one with the keyboard and one with the keyboard and a box around it and the animation speed is set to zero so it doesn't automatically play. Then I've got a gamepad one exactly the same way, one just by itself, one with a box around it. Just make sure that these are set to the correct image, so make sure that the gamepad has the gamepad underneath it and the keyboard has the keyboard underneath it. Otherwise, it'll show just the same sprite for both of the inputs. So going back to the event sheet, the sprite that I've used with the gamepad and the keyboard icon, I've given it a instance variable. It's just a string variable that basically just says what it is. So this one is the gamepad and this one is the keyboard. You can easily add that if you haven't got it by adding new instance variable, call it whatever you want. I'm not gonna call it ID. I named it a string and then the initial value you can set blank and then you can just type that initial value in over here based on what, what the icon is. So if the gamepad is selected and the input ID, which is the variable that I assigned to the sprite, is called gamepad, which means it's the one on the left, then I wanna set that sprite's animation frame to number one, which if you remember, is the one with the box around it to, select, to suggest that it's been highlighted. If it's selected the keyboard, then I want the sprite frame to be zero, which is the one without the frame around it. Then if we come down to the next block, then we're gonna say if the gamepad selected Boolean is not true, which means that we've not selected gamepad, then if the sprite ID is called gamepad, we're gonna set the frame to zero, which is the one without the box. And then the reverse for the keyboard, which is frame one, which is the one with the box. Then we've just got a couple of statements down here, a couple of events that say when we press the key, uh, the space bar, we're gonna go to the game, or when we press A on the gamepad, we're also gonna go to the game. But underneath those is some sub events that say if the, the gamepad is selected, then we're gonna disable the keyboard controls and activate the gamepad controls. And likewise, if the gamepad is not selected, we're gonna disable the gamepad controls and enable the keyboard controls. And this is just simply set group active, which you can do in the system. 
and then here under general set group active and then if you just open up with a parentheses there you can then choose whichever group you want to set active or deactive and I've done the exact same thing for the A button which means that I can use the left analog stick on the controller to select my input method if I select gamepad I can play with the gamepad and if I use the A and D on the keyboard I can select keyboard and I can play as the keyboard if you found the tutorial useful please consider giving the video a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more content I'd like to give a massive thank you and a shout out to my wonderful patreon and YouTube channel members Fuzel CC, Olivia Bernier, Amari Lewis, Enmark Games, Tor Hammock Alice Anderson, Martin K, 8 Bit Gamer, Davy Wagnerock, John Allegreza, Dan, Matt Nixon, Mike Joe, Jordan Lane, Nicholas, and Callum Keen. Thanks so much for supporting the game dev journey. And as previously mentioned, if you'd like to find out a little bit more about what's on offer, you can click the link in the description.